Today's show is all about perspective or how we see objects in space. Hi, I'm Candy Cooper and let's begin with a definition for perspective. It's the technique of representing three-dimensional objects on a two-dimensional space, like drawing a house on a flat piece of paper. It's all about the point of view from which we categorize or measure, like a tree that gets smaller and smaller as we walk away from it. Our first example is this optical treasure box. We're using simple geometric shapes to create perspective. Let's get started to see what we need. You're going to need a paper mache box, some acrylic paint in whatever colors you like. You can pick your two favorites, some paint pens, paint brushes, and I think we're ready to get going. So the first thing you're going to do is um, paint the top of the box. And I suggest using a light color paint. That's why I'm using this kind of banana yellow color. And I'm actually, for the top, I'm using a little bit thinner um, paint formula because I want it to kind of show the texture of the box. So you would just paint the entire thing. And you could put a second coat on it too once it dries. And if you're in a big hurry, you can always have an adult help you uh, with a hair dryer to dry it quickly. When you're finished with that, then we're gonna work on the lid a little bit. Switch brushes, because, or you can just wash out your brush with soap and water. And now I'm using a thicker paint because I want this to be super dark. See, now we can't see any of the paper mache um, color or the texture of the box. So when you are finished covering this entire thing, and you could paint the inside or even the bottom, you're going to switch over to decorating the lid. And this is where our perspective comes in. Okay, so I've gone ahead and started, but the first thing you're going to do is start with a wave shape. And you can see I've used a pencil to mark my lines first, but see how the wave comes out and then curls back in. Now, if you're nervous about this, you can always trace your box lid onto a piece of paper, like so, cut it out and practice your designs first. But we're gonna start with a wave shape. So. Go ahead and outline that. And you can even do, let me turn this around. You can even do the edges. So you would come up. And I'm just using a really heavy paint marker to get my shape. And so that completes. And what we're kind of creating is sort of this vortex that when we look down into it, it looks like the center is really, really far away. So now, go back to my practice paper. I've kind of laid out some doodles that I can fill in to the center of the box, or to the box lid. The key here on creating perspective is at the center of the box, you want your doodles to be really, really tiny. So let's start out with something simple with polka dots. So my center one is super teeny tiny and then it gets a little bigger, and a little bigger, and bigger, and you guessed it, bigger. And so those things can grow to the point where they're almost like folding off the side of the box edge and down the rim of the box. And now we're going to outline it with our paint marker again. Okay, so to do that, just go around. And if you look at my finished one, I've got this pattern right here. And I did it a little differently where the bubbles were kind of making a line, but you can doodle yours however you like. And to give this some more dimension and perspective, we're gonna add a little bit of shading, which just means making these bubbles look like they're three-dimensional, right? Because right now they look a little flat. So to do that, we're just gonna take one side with our marker and make the edge a little bit heavier. And you can do that to the other ones as well, make them all kind of match and try to keep it so that all your shading is on the same side of the bubble shape. And then you go on. So then um, if you wanna do it again, let's do some rectangles. So you start with a tiny rectangle, a little bit bigger, and they keep growing and stretching around. And these paint markers come in all different colors. This is my optical treasure box that I wanna put all of my New York City souvenirs in. So I made it black and yellow like a New York taxi cab, but you can pick out whatever colors that you want. But I could add a, a second color for my shaded areas. So you can go back in and kind of make these, add some polka dots. 
there really are no rules here, but you're just gonna keep filling it in. And once these dry, you could go back in. Let's look at this other one I've been working on. So I can switch colors and this paint is really dry, so I could add some purple on top, to add another layer. I could even fill in the yellow areas with the paint pen. But you can see anything can go on your box lid. The key is start with your twirly lines, make the center super small as you work out, make it larger, and you've got a really cool optical treasure box.